Imperial race and as you said put in a very impressive first performance over fences at Devon Is one of two greys in the race far side there she's ran a smashing race at Cheltenham at the festival last year behind Denoli and Josh Gifford said he, that she's the best mare that he's ever trained and looks really wound up well not particularly wound up but fit for her first run of the season she's by strong gale the leading jumping stallion who took over from deep run in that position sadly he's he's dead now strong gale but he's covered so many mares he'll uh, be at the top for some while yet cardi uh, the mount of adrian maguire well it would only be a very slight consolation if uh, Cardi could win this for Adrian and David Nicholson, it would be some consolation. He ran rather, rather better the first time out, ran really promisingly the first time out this season, um, but disappointingly, when only third and quite a distant third to Scorton Banks uh, in his second run. Yeah, he hasn't jumped all that well. Certainly didn't think he jumped very well when I watched him run last time. Percy Thrower, he put in a good round to win the time before last. That was up at Taydock where he had uh, Sound Strong and Too Good to be True behind it, but he got rid of Carl Llewellyn in no uncertain terms at Cheltenham last time. David Bridgewater's got them out this afternoon, half-brother to Arctic Kinsman. That's John Graham. Favourite odds on now, that's a high bar on the left as they come down towards the first and 17 fences with Cardi in the yellow jacket, but it's a high bar who takes the first in the lead. Doesn't he jump well? We jumped that one well. Severe test the second fence though, that's an open ditch and it's a High Baron who has the edge. High Baron with her Percy Thrower and Cardi on the outside. This is an open ditch they take now. And Percy Thrower just uh, nosedived a little bit at it. Reef Gale is in the blue colours back in fourth place. The pale blue is local manor, the yellow and green fair brother and they continue down towards the third. And at it, it was High Baron who took it in the lead by about a couple of lengths to Cardi in second. And then Percy Thrower out wide of Brief Gale, and then behind these comes Local Manor, and then we have Fair Brother over the next, and uh, Local Manor a little bit slower at that one, and they've jumped four. In this, the bonus film, Wayward Lad Novices Chase, and it's High Baron, which had done Wardy by a length or so, to Cardi in second, and then showing third is Percy Thrower. Then we have Brief Gale with Fair Brother and Local Manor, the back two and they're through the first half mile with High Baron leading Cardi in second and Percy through a third then and they come down towards fence number five three fences to jump on this stretch of the track all plain and held no terrors for any of them and Cardi on the outside of High Baron as they come down towards the middle fence this is the sixth but High Baron accelerates going into the fence uh, fair brother a little bit slow there on the right of the picture in the yellow and green but it's high baron on the inside of cardi and then percy thrower coming through on the inner of the lot of them brief gale is out wide that's the seventh race up past the stands with high baron leading then Cardi in second and Percy through a third and Brief Gale on the outside. That's in four. And this quarter about uh, ten legs clear of local manor who's finding this uh, competition just a little bit too stiff. So too at this stage is Fair Brother. And they make a right-handed turn, head away to the water jump for the first and only time. And it's High Baron who comes to it. Comes to it and jumps it safely, economically, and uh, very well indeed. High Baron. Cardi on the outside in the yellow, and then further right we look to Brief Gale, rated by Josh Gifford as one of the best mayors he's trained. Mark who doesn't train that many. Line of three, Percy Thrower in four, and the other two continuing. And he prize money down to four places here. This is the second last ditch, and at it, it was Brief Gale who led out, jumped to High Bar on the inside between the pair is Cardi. Head down towards the tenth, and this trio pulling clear of Percy Thrower. So they begin the turn out of the back stretch, and they've jumped the tenth. <coughs> High Baron, 11 to 10 on, Brief Gale, 130, Percy Thrower, 5 to 1, Cardi, 7 to 1. Seven more to jump for High Baron and Cardi and Brief Gale. They're clear of uh, Percy Thrower, and this quartet are a long way clear of the other two, Fair Brother and Local Manor continuing, but uh, well tailed off. 
Seven from home this, and it's a high bar and the odds on favourite on the inside of Cardi on the outer is Brief Gale. Percy throws back in uh, fourth place. This is the last ditch they have to jump. Six from home this. And uh, Adrian Maguire really asked uh, Cardi to go into it, and he answered well. But High Baron is travelling powerfully on the inside. Brief Gale is back in third now. Come down towards the fifth from home. And it's High Baron and Cardi. High Baron, Cardi, Brief Gale, the one, two, three. Percy Thrower being left behind in fourth place now. And the leaders have got four to jump. Come to the fourth from home. And uh, Cardi made a mistake there. Drop back to third place. Brief Gale goes second, but High Baron still has the edge. High Baron by three parts of the length to Brief Gale. Card is getting competitive again. And this trio of 15 clear of Percy Thrower, who's a distance in front of Fair Brother, start the turn in. Just the three to jump, and Cardi gets a reminder. It's High Baron who has the edge. Brief Gale's coming up on the outside. Cardi is uh, trying to get back into the race again. Brief Gale goes up on the outside. Three out this. And it's High Baron and uh, Brief Gale and Cardi back in third. And they've got two more to jump. Blue colours, Brief Gale, the grey High Baron. Two out here, High Baron and Brief Gale. And Brief Gale and High Baron battle it out. They're clear of Cardi as they come down towards the final fence. High Baron just going into a lead of a length or so. Brief Gale is coming back at him though. They come down towards the final fence. High Baron. He's coming clear by four to five to six at the line. High Baron, the winner. Brief Gale in second and Cardi in third. These are a long way clear of Percy Thrower and Fairbrother and local Banner who jumps the last to compete. And so the result then of this, the bonus film way with Lad Novice's chase. The 11 to 10 on favourite, number one High Baron, was won in the colours of Mr. C.A. James, trained by uh, R.H. Arnold, ridden by Richard Dunwoody, his 97th winner of the season.